Good day, ABM Business Math Learners! Once again, I am Mom Yang and welcome to my class. In this video, expressing fraction to decimal and present forms and vice versa will be discussed. The most essential learning competencies in this video is that you learners can express fraction to decimal and percent forms, express decimals to fractions and percent forms, and express percent to fractions and decimal forms. Let's study first converting fraction to decimal. We will be presenting here the two methods of converting fractions to decimals. The first one is to divide the numerator by the denominator, and the other one is using multiplication. Let's see this example 1 convert 14 over 25 to a decimal. So let us use the method 1 first, which is to divide the numerator by the denominator. Okay, so we have here 14 divided by 25 is 0 0.56 or 56 hundredths. Now let us use the method 2 which is by using multiplication. So the first thing that we do by using multiplication is to find a number that we can multiply by the denominator of the fraction to make it 10, 100, 1000 or any one followed by zeros. So, our denominator here is 25. So, the number that we can multiply to 25 to become 100 is 4. Now, since a 4 is the number that we can multiply to our denominator to become 100, that is also the number that we will use to multiply to our numerator. So, that's it. 14 times 4 is 56. 25 times 4 is 100. Now, next step is to write down the numerator, then move the decimal point two places to the left since 100 has two zeros. Okay, so we have here 56. This decimal place is placed here at the right so we will move this two places to the left so one two okay so our 56 will become 0 0.56 our final answer is 56 hundredths when a fraction is converted to a decimal, it will be one of the two forms, a terminating decimal or a non-terminating decimal. We have here an example of a terminating decimal, that is, one half. How it became a terminating decimal? It became a terminating decimal because 0 0.5 or the 5 tenths has no other number comes after 5. Okay? So next is the non-terminating decimal. We have here an example, 1 third. So how, how to show this? So that is, so 1 divided by 3 is 0 0.333 and so on. Okay? So this 10, the remaining 1 here and we will bring down another zero, another three will be the answer. And then it repeats. So it non terminates. Okay, so it is non terminating and decimal. Now let's study how to convert fraction to percent. To convert fraction to percent, like we have here, three over ten. We will convert first the fraction to its decimal equivalent by dividing the numerator by the denominator. So, like this one. So, the answer is 3 tenths. After, after getting the decimal equivalent of our fraction, we can move the decimal point two places to the right. Or, we can multiply 
this by a hundred. Okay. Now the answer will be thirty. And the decimal point it will be removed and it will affect the percent sign. So the three over ten is thirty percent. Now let us proceed to converting decimal to a fraction. Let us see this example. Convert 0 0.75 or 75 hundredths to a fraction. So the first thing that we do is to write down decimal divided by 1. So our decimal number is 0 0.75 or 75 hundredths. So we write down a 0 0.75 times 1. Next thing that we do is to multiply both top and bottom by 10 for every number. For every number after the decimal point so for example if there are two numbers after the decimal point then we will multiply it by a hundred if there are three numbers after the decimal point we will multiply bit we will multiply it by a thousand so in this case we have two decimal number after the decimal point so we will multiply this by a hundred Okay, so after multiplying our fraction, the 0 0.75 over 1 by 100, it will become 75 over 100. Then the next thing that we do is to simplify or reduce the fraction to lowest terms. So we have 75 over 100. So the GCF for this is 25 so we will divide this by 25 75 divided by 25 is 3 and 100 divided by 25 is 4 so our final answer is 3 fourth another is to convert 2.35 or 2 and 35 hundredths to a fraction okay so we write down the the decimal numbers only okay so that will be 0 0.35 over 1 or 35 hundredths over 1 and the next we will multiply that by a hundred since we have two decimal number after decimal point so 35 hundredths time 100 is equal to 35 and 1 times 100 is 100 now we will reduce our fraction to lowest term so 35 over 100 our gcf is 5 so 35 divided by 5 is 7 100 divided by 5 is 20 now we have 7 over 20 now let's add our whole number which is 2 so our final answer is 2 and 7 over 20 now what if our decimal is a non-terminating decimal like for example we have 0 0.666 3 and so on and so forth and 5 0.23423423 so these are the kinds of non-terminating decimals okay so let's see an example convert 0 0.333 to a fraction so the first thing that we do is to equate the given decimal to x which will represent the equivalent fraction so x is equal to 0 0.333 and then step 2 we will multiply the equation by 10 why 10 because it's only one number that keeps on repeating okay so it's only number 3 next is get the product for our step 2 so that is 10 times x is 10x and 10 times 0 0.333 is 3.333 and then the next step is to subtract our equation 1 which is x is equal to 0 0.333 from our equation 2 
and then step five is to get the difference so 10x minus x is equal to 9x and 3.333 minus 0.333 is 3 because this is already cancelled okay now next step is to divide both sides by 9 okay so 9x over 9 is equal to 3 over 9 next is you have to cancel that out so the remaining will be x is equal to 3 over 9 and we will simplify this so the gcf for 3 over 9 is 3 so 3 over 3 times divided by 3 is 1 and 9 divided by 3 is Three. So our final answer is one third. Other non terminating decimal to be converted into fraction is 3.121212. Okay, so the first step is to make our equation 1. So let x is equal to 3.121212. And then step 2, we will multiply our equation by 100. So why 100? Because we have two numbers that keeps on repeating, which is 1 and 2. Step 3. So that will be our equation 2, which is the product from our step 2. So that is 100x is equal to 312.121212. And then step 4, we will subtract our equation 1 from our equation 2 which is x is equal to 3.121212 now get the difference so for this 100x minus x is 99x and 312 minus 3 is 309 because the decimal numbers has been cancelled okay so the next step is to divide both sides by 99 so 99x over 99x is equal to 309 over 99 and then we will cancel this out so the remaining is only x okay so x is equal to 309 divided by 99 so since 309 over 99 is a mixed num is an improper fraction so we will simplify this and convert this into a mixed number so 309 over 99 its mixed number equivalent is 3 and 4 over 33 okay converting decimal to percent to convert decimal to percent, we also have two methods for doing this. Okay, the first one is to multiply the decimal number by 100 and attach the percent sign. So, for example, we have 139 thousandths times 100 is equal to 13 and 9 percent. Okay, next. 23 and 75 hundreds multiplied to 100 will be 2,375%. The other way to convert decimal to percent is to move the decimal point two places to the right then attach the percent sign. So for example, we have 139 uh, thousandths. So what we will do is to move the decimal point to places to the right. Okay, so 1, 2. So the answer is 13 and 9 percent. Then the converting percent to decimal. In converting percent to decimal, we also have two methods in doing this. 
So the first one is to divide the percent by 100 and remove the percent sign. So for example, convert 42% to decimal. So 42 divided by 100 is equal to 42 hundredths. Okay, so next is convert 125% to decimal. So 125 divided by 100 is equal to 1.25. Then the second method is to convert percent to decimal is to move the decimal point two places to the left and drop the percent sign. For example, we have 42%. So, we will move the decimal point two places to the left, okay, to the left. So, that's one, two. So, 42% will become 42 hundredths. Then, the next is 125%. So, 125% will be 1.25, 1 and 25 hundreds okay now let's convert percent to fraction let us see this example convert 80 percent to fraction we are going to divide 80 by 100 then we will write down the decimal over 1 we will multiply our numerator and denominator by 10. So this makes this decimal number to 8 over 10. And we will simplify this fraction to lowest term. So 8 over 10 is equal to 4 over 5. So, in this video, we'll learn how to convert fraction to decimal, convert fraction to percent, convert decimal to fraction, convert decimal to percent, convert percent to decimal, and convert percent to fraction. Thank you so much. See you in our next video lesson.